I come to politics through community development work. I mean, that's my history. And it was always about people. And it was always from a perspective of never assuming that I knew the answers uh, and never assuming that an answer that I thought was the right one was the right one unless mm -hmm. it was something that was shared by other people. And so my, my perspective has always been, instead of here's the policy, it's been what's happening with people what, what do they want to see changed and how do we make that happen? And so, so I don't know if it's a blind spot, but it, I think it's more of a, of a um, you know, making sure that, that, that people are part of, of the, like, oh, the, put it this way, when, when we, we had our platform was, it was like, I don't even know, I can't even remember now, almost 200 pages, it was like 160 something pages. And they said, oh, we're going to have to cut it down. Like, we can't go with that. Sixty-page platform. It's a bit of a bit of a overcompensation for you know, the Liberals complained <laughs> about our nine-page platform last time around. A little bit of overcompensating there with 160. Anyways, we. So what I said to the team is this: I said that's fine. You know, I, I, that's good. I get it, and I agree. No problem. But don't take the people out. Yeah. Don't take the people out of the platform and have it only policy, so that it's really wonky and people can't see themselves or their problems or their challenges in it because it's all just policy. So I don't know that I, I don't have a policy blind spot because I actually got into politics because I was a social justice activist and, and I worked in a legal clinic and did policy at the time. But um, but it's more, it's more, I guess, kind of, I, I'll tell you what I worry about. I worry about the ability to ensure that the policies that we have and the, uh, the plans that we have in our platform actually translate into solutions that work for people and so that we get the, the implementation piece and the, the, the bureaucracy's support and efforts and I, I trust the Ontario Public Service to you know to be nonpartisan and do their jobs and all of that but watching some of the failures of the Liberal government and implementation of some of their plans it, I worry about that. I worry about making sure that um, you know that uh, you know the best intentions that we have uh, that do actually speak to and, and solve the concerns that families are talking about that we're, that the implementation is such that it, it makes the change that, that we want to see and that families voted for.